Hello everyone. In this presentation, we'll take a quick overview of the SAMR model developed by Dr. Ruben Puentadora in the late 80s, early 90s. We looked at the TPAC model before, a framework for teacher knowledge required for effective technology integration. The SAMR model further deconstructs TPAC's concepts of technological content knowledge and technological pedagogical knowledge by attempting to understand the effects the use of technology has on teaching and learning. SAMR stands for substitution, augmentation, modification, and redefinition. At the substitution level, technology acts as a direct tool substitute with no functional change. In other words, technology is used to perform the same task as was done before the use of that technology. For example, students printing out a worksheet, finishing it and passing it in. In this example, there is no functional change in teaching and learning. This might be the appropriate level for some lessons. However, such use tends to be very much teacher-centric. At the augmentation level, technology acts as a direct tool substitute with functional improvements. For example, students take a quiz using a Google form instead of using pencil and paper. Now, there is some functional benefit here in that besides saving paper, students and teachers can receive almost immediate feedback, which may motivate students to be more engaged in learning. Additionally, this level starts to move along the teacher-student centric continuum. At the modification level, technology allows for significant task redesign. An, an example of this is using the commenting service in Google Docs, for instance, to collaborate and share feedback on a given task. In this case, technology is necessary for completing the task. There is significant functional change, allowing for peer and teacher feedback and ongoing rewriting. Questions and suggestions increasingly come from students rather than the teacher, thereby making the task more student-centric. At the redefinition level, technology allows for the creation of new tasks previously inconceivable. For example, a classroom is asked to create a documentary video answering an essential question related to important concepts. Teams of students take on different subtopics and collaborate to create one final product. Teams are expected to contact outside sources for information. In this case, common classroom tasks and, and, and technology exists not as ends but as supports for student-centered learning. Students learn content and skills in support of important concepts as they pursue the challenge of creating a professional quality video. Collaboration becomes necessary and technology allows such communications to occur. Questions and discussions are increasingly student-generated, thereby making it even more student-centric. Now, as we move from substitution to redefinition, teaching and learning becomes more and more student-centric. Also, K uh, Katie Schrock out of Wilkes University, Pennsylvania, has tried to align Bloom's taxonomy to the SAMR model, stating that substitution and augmentation primarily focus on lower order thinking skills, while modification and redefinition focus on higher order thinking skills. I agree that it does require a higher level of critical thinking to be able to integrate technology at the level of modification and redefinition. However, as far as the progression of learning from lower order to higher order thinking skills, that may require more investigation. The SAMR model provides a useful framework to understand the impact of technology on teaching and learning. A simplified version of the SAMR model is the RAT model, the RAT model, which was described by Hughes, Thomas, and Sh Sharber in 2006. The RAT model was originally developed as a self-assessment tool for pre-service and in-service teachers 
to increase critical technological decision making. It aligns with the SAMR model where substitution is the same as replacement, where technology just replaces another technology without any change in teaching and learning. Augmentation and modification align with amplification where technology amplifies the teaching and learning process. And redefinition aligns with transformation where technology transforms teaching and learning. Both the SAMR model and the RAT model, they provide a framework for a more critical perspective on the integration of technology and can be used by teachers to make informed decisions about the integration of technology in teaching and learning. And this is what I've been talking about uh, when it comes to the Swiss Army Knife approach to technology integration. Thank you for watching and wishing you all the best.